Hello, it's a beautiful day at the RPRA One Loft Race, March the 2nd, 2010. This is our first video of the year for the yearlings, and we're just going to give you a bit of an update what's going on at the lofts. At the moment the pigeons have been paired about a week ago, and uh, they're just starting to lay. And what we'll do, we're going to sit them down on eggs for about 10 days, and then this will be the time when we're going to split them, cocks and hens, and eventually the cocks will desert their eggs and then they'll be put onto the roundabout system. Uh, we did this system last year, it was very successful. Uh, the last two races uh, we topped the Federation with a Seven Valley Fed. There was 1,800 pigeons in that. And then two weeks, two weeks later we flew with the British Barcelona Club from Poitiers uh, from 394 miles and uh, we finished first section, second open. So with your birds and our management, we can definitely bring success um, combined together with a one-off race. Uh, I'm going to walk around now with the camcorder just to show you some of the birds and how they're acting. And you may even notice some of yours. And this is what it's all about. You want to see what your pigeons are doing. Um, but it's just to basically give you a video, say, once a month of what's going on around the lofts. And also this year we'll try and get uh, some of the liberations going onto YouTube of the hotspots and the training as well. Uh, and we'll just play it as it goes. But um, I'm going to go over the loft now and just put a bit of feed down so they can get a closer shot of some of the birds. And, uh, and then we'll just have a look around and, and give you a bit of, uh, bit of a playback of what's going on. Just come a bit closer, Gabby, and just show, uh, show people some of the pigeons here. As you can see, they're in uh, good fettle. Pigeons are in high spirits with this bit of warm weather we're having the last few days. Because we've had some. Uh, a lot of snow the last few weeks and weather's been uh, hot and cold and so it's put a lot of people's breeding programs off but uh, these pigeons now are, are really sort of looking to uh, to pair up and uh, and start you know laying we've got uh, 200 pigeons in the loft and uh, we got about uh, 300 perches for them to perch on so they can play about. We got the uh, the pipo boxes, and uh, we're just starting off putting a small amount of bowls in there, and then working up. Uh, the best pigeons, you know, will uh, take the bowls, and the, these pigeons are rationed at the moment because we don't want them carrying too much weight because we will start training uh, next month, early April. We always start off pretty short, about five miles with the yearlings, and then we'll work up to about 30 miles. And once the racing does start, then, you know, generally we'll probably stop training, and we'll race them every week. Uh, we're going to have four inland races this year. Uh, the first one is uh, 1st of May, um, first week in May, and that'll be Portland, and then they go Newton Abbott, Yarverton, then back to Portland, and then a week later they'll be over the channel uh, to Lesse, and then two weeks after that, all being well, it'll be with the British Barcelona Club Poitiers, and uh, we'll see if we can follow on from last year's success. The birds are cleaned out every day, uh, so we can monitor the drop-ins, monitor the health, they're also kept on a deep litter of Orbeos, 
which we find insulates the floor and they're comfortable with that. I'd rather much have that than grills to be honest. Um, the pigeons are more happier um, but everyone's to their own. Uh, I'll just have a walk through now uh, the lofts and, and you can just see you know what's happening in some of the bowls and uh, I'll just carry on talking and, and see see where we go with this you know with one loft races what you got to think is there's every breed under the sun in the loft you got sprint middle and distance pigeons and it's very interesting what comes through at the end of the day these pigeons are really happy and if you've got a happy loft you've got a winning loft The end sections we got V perches and when the birds are split they're on these perches and uh, basically all the pigeons really want to do when they're on the roundabout is get back to the boxes and this is how we play with the motivation. This is how we got pigeons out in front to top the federation from Lesse and also top the section C with the Bristol Barcelona Club you won't get these results unless they're fully motivated and healthy and everything's got to be right as you can see they're taking the boxes and the bowls they're all broken into the loft well now from the young bird loft we walk down to each section all the pigeons are very happy the condition is good I just hope you know you just see an insight to what's going on at the loft cracking in there well shecker cock there all I can see is one free to start with so he always stands out that pigeon and back down to the the other compartment with the V sections in. So when we actually start training uh, next month, I will uh, get the video camcorder on a on a tripod and, and do the liberation. Also, I'll see if I can uh, get another camcorder going for when they return. But uh, we don't really want to mess about at five miles, you know. You, you want to see this when we get to 30 miles and what have you. Come on. Come on. Pigeons are always kept under control. They're fed about 1.2 at the moment because they're flying about two hours a day. And we never give them any less than that really unless we want to get the weight off them these pigeons uh, seem about the right weight at the moment. We've got a, a team flying. These are coming in. And we're coming up well we're on the nine minutes now with the uh, with the video so Things are looking good. The RPRA one off race with the yearlings. This is where they trap to. When I lock the doors and lock the pigeons out, they have to go back through the traps. Obviously, all timed on ETS. 